discuss is how to uh, look through the App Store in the iTunes um, application so that you can tell uh, Michelle G if there's any apps that you'd like to her to put on to the iTouches. So I'm going to start by putting iTunes, clicking on iTunes. And what that's going to bring me up to is my iTunes library. Now, if you've ever um, opened up iTunes before, you may have to go through some steps where you uh, put in your name and, and register and what have you, but it should eventually get to this point. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to go on the left-hand side here and we're going to click on iTunes Store. And that's going to open up the iTunes Store. And you can see that we've got lots of options here. Uh, I'm going to go to the App Store. I'm going to click on that. And notice that the iPhone is grayed out and the iPad is black. We're currently we're looking at all the iPhone apps. Okay, if we were to click on iPad, we would look at the iPad apps. Now, since the touches um, pretty much go in line with the iPhone, we're going to leave it in the iPhone um, category. Now, there's a couple things to notice here. Um, we can search. Uh, well, we can take a look at the things that the most frequently purchased apps, and here are the top paid apps. And we can also scroll down and you can see that we've got the top free apps listed in 1 through 10 here. Um, another way to search through the App Store is to go up here to this little drop down menu and you can see that it gives you all kinds of categories. So if we click on the education app or the education option, um, that's going to give us the tops charts, but this is going to be the top charts for education. So here are the top paid education apps. And here are the top free education apps. And now, now it's just a matter of digging a little bit. Um, one thing that you can do is if you go to free apps and you say see all, you'll see a list of all the free apps that are available. Same thing with paid apps. You could also search the store. You could type in fraction app, multiplication app, something along those lines, phonics app. Um, and you'd have an opportunity to see um, which apps are available for whatever it is that you're searching. So let's just go to this SNAP NASA app. So this is the top free app available. You can see it's got little screenshots of what the app looks like. All right. And that's also worth paying attention to the user um, rating system. So this app has gotten three and a half stars, which is a pretty average rating. And if you like to read some of the reviews that people have given it, you can. Um, another good way to do that is to go to YouTube type NASA app and you'll be able to watch this app in use and see how it would function um, for your students. So uh, once you've done that you will want to go over here and do copy link and what that's going to do is that's going to put the link to this app onto your uh, clipboard and then go put an email to Michelle G and paste this link into that email and say uh, that you would like this app put on the touches, check out the touch cart, and then you can get these things in the hands of your students.